So you've just been for a run and you need to have a good stretch, you need to unlock your flexibility and stop your body feeling heavy and bumped up as some of your comments in the last Unlock Your Flexibility video. Please do leave a comment or a thumb up and let me know how you found this video. We're going to have a good stretch of your body and we're going to make a start on your hands and knees. We're going to work into your back because if you're like me, you've just been for a run and you need to just work into your pelvis, into your lower back. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips and just settle into those points of contact. And then you're going to press your belly button to the floor. Your chin comes up as you're breathing in. Really arch your back and then as your chin comes to your chest, round through your back. Really push your belly button up towards the sky and you just work through a few rounds of this now and you're uninhaling it, exhale. So as you're inhaling belly to the floor, chin comes up, arching your back. And then as you exhale, your chin to your chest and rounding through your back. So how was your run? Just continue to do this movement. What was your run like? My run this morning was very wet. You might be able to hear the rain absolutely pelting it now. It feels nice to have got out and done a run and that feel good feeling of ah. You can have a nice stretch. Okay, last one as you exhale. Just really rounding your back. Just have a little bit of a wiggle through the hips, through the wrists, through the knees and the elbows. And then from here, we're just going to keep the tops of the feet to the mat. We're going to slowly rest the hips towards the heels. Make sure the knees feel okay with this. Make sure the ankles feel okay with it. Stop if they don't. So don't go any further if they don't. Just go wherever your body will allow you. Slowly rest towards the heels. And just have a little bit of a wiggle left and right. Breathe. Get some compression into those joints. Give them a good squeeze, all the veins and arteries. It's a nice deep massage, just have a little bit of a wiggle. So we're always doing dynamic movements to massage the joints and the tendon tissues to create a supple body. Okay, so from here, as we're coming forwards, we're going to step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. So we're coming forwards, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand, give it a little wiggle. You might want to walk the hands up a little bit because we're going to work into the groin, but we also just want to work onto this right thigh. So take the right knee back a little bit, and we might start to feel that at the top of the right thigh going up into the hip flexors, so at the front of the hip, and that's good. We want the back knee to be safe, and just have a little bit of a wiggle. So again, just have a little bit of movement. Use the movement to massage into the, the groin area. Keep the, the wrists, elbows, and shoulders relaxed, though, and breathe as you do this. Again, just find little areas that feel tight or tense or need a little bit of stretching into a little bit of movement, a little bit of suppleness. And then just finding stillness with the upper body. We're going to open the left knee away from the upper arm now. So the left knee opens out right, get up feeling right going into the hip, into the groin, in the inner thigh. And then just bring it back in, just a little bit. So just open it out, breathe as you do this. Again, try not to get too tense through the upper body. But we're just massaging in and out with that knee. Again, being kind to the body. So don't do it too aggressively. We're not forcing it past something it doesn't want to do. We're massaging the body, so we're kind to it. We're helping it recover. We're helping those tendon tissues, the muscle tissues recover. And then from here, we're going to slowly send the hips up a little bit as you come hip, hips back. And then step the left foot back, touch the toes together, and rock slowly towards the heels again. Just get that little bit of compressive massage. Just stretch the hands out a little bit now, so stretching the ribs and the shoulders a little bit, let, allow the head to bow. And as we come up this time, we're going to bring the left knee to the left wrist. So slowly coming forwards, bring the left knee to the left wrist. We're going to work into the glutes and that hip area. Bring the, took the back toes and lift the back leg. So the space for the left foot now to go across the mat. If you need to, you can use the hand to wiggle it a bit higher. Make sure we feel safe in this left knee. And as we go back, now walk the, the foot backwards. And we're keeping this right hip pushing towards this left heel. Try not to let it lift up too high. And we're letting this left hip sink down. You can always get a pillow or a cushion to let, let this left hip sit into. So pause if you need to. And then come back into it. But we're going to allow the left hip to sit wherever 
we can feel a nice stretch and when we feel that stretch again dynamic movement we're using the, the movement to massage the body and create suppleness unlock our flexibility and we're going to go left and right into the right hand into the left hand keeping the elbows shoulders and wrists soft so there's that sense of fluidity always trying to breathe in and out through the nose which will create relaxation signals to the brain which will then again help the body relax and open up that little bit more because if you if you hold any breath if you tense you create intention the body will respond by holding and stiffening up and it won't allow your body to unlock that flexibility so you're just moving left and right with that and doing that in your own inhale in your own movement don't go too fast go nice and gentle if you need to again you, you can always put a cushion there if you do enjoy this practice please do give it a like let me know in the comments that you've enjoyed it and it was a good practice you felt good after it it really does help i love responding to your comments i know which people which videos people are enjoying i'll just continue to post more for you Okay, so how is this feeling on this side? Is it tight? Is it loose? Is it loosening? Have you noticed it's got a little bit looser? Okay, and then coming back onto the hands nice and strongly, we're going to lift up that back foot and the back knee to create space for the left foot to step through now. So nice and slowly step through. Just notice the difference. As you come through to hands and knees, notice the difference in the sensation in the left and the right. Legs, touch the toes together. We're going to slowly rest the hips towards the heels as much as we comfortably can. Again, for the knees and the ankles. Keep breathing. Relax the shoulders. Have a little bit of a wiggle. And then this time we're going to go do the same thing on the opposite side. So we're going to bring up the left, the right foot, sorry, to the right outside of the right hand as we come up and step. So steps the right foot. Work that left knee backwards a little bit so the point where we can feel that stretch at the top of the left thigh into the hip flexors you might want to walk the hands up a little bit just have a little bit of movement again just massage use the movements and massage your body it feels good to just have a little, little bit of a stretch and a movement breathe so notice if you hold in tension anywhere in your body even the jaw facial muscles wherever arms and shoulders just loosen them Breathing in and out through the nose. And then we're coming to a stop with the upper body. And this time, we're going to open out. Again, the right knee. So push the weight into the outer edge of the right foot. And then bring the right knee in a little bit. Release it. Open the right knee away from the upper arm. And then release it. So you're working right into that inner thigh. And we're being kind. Have the kind mindset as you do this. So be kind to your body. Unlocking your flexibility and creating suppleness in the body. This is going to help your recovery so that your muscle tissues, your tendon tissues are ready to go. Maybe you need to run tomorrow or you've got a big run in a couple of days. Whatever it may be, you'll be much more prepared. Your body will be better able to respond to that demand if you keep them healthy if you keep them tissues healthy okay how's it feeling on the side last one as we bring it in then we're going to step that right foot to the back of the mat again and we're going to touch the toes knees open and then we're going to slowly rest the hips into the heels again just have a little bit of a squeeze into the ankles and stretch the shoulders stretch the hands above the shoulders and we're going to bring the right knee to the right wrist as we slowly come up now working into those glutes Bring the left knee up. Bring the right foot across the body. You can make sure it's supported. Get a, pause the video and get a, a cushion or a block if you need to sit the right hip into the floor. And then walk that back foot backwards so the right hip comes towards the floor or the cushion or the block. And then you can rest this left hip pushing it in towards the right heel. Use your hands to support the weight of your body. But don't let the upper body get too stiff and tense. Again, we want suppleness. It signals to the body that it's okay to be here. And then we're going to move left and right. So into the left, into the right. So hand to hand. And we're massaging into that glue. Maybe they might feel that in the hamstring. You might feel it a little bit going down into the calf muscle. Or you might just feel it a lot into the outer part of the hip near the glute area. And you just keep those shoulders relaxed, keep breathing in and out through the nose. Use the mat and the floor as a deep massage tool. 
It should feel nice, you feel really good. Again, if it is feeling good, leave a comment, let me know. It's very helpful to know that you are enjoying this. It's a nice little boost to me. I see that, ah, someone's commented and someone's enjoyed it. And I start a little conversation with you. Okay, so Anthony, you've commented, if you're watching this one, you've commented a lot on my recent videos and really started to enjoy these videos a lot. So thank you for commenting on these. Okay, and then we're going to slowly bring, bring the hands nice and strong. And then this time we're going to step that right foot back. And then from there we're just going to, again, back into all fours. We're going to have a little wiggle. And then from there, nice and slow, we're just going to adjust our body. And then we're going to come into a seated position. Now we're going to work into those inner thighs a little bit more. So just come onto your bum and touch the bottoms of the feet together. And then from here, what we're going to do is going to bring the hips into the heels. Or the heels into the hips. So I sometimes get my body parts mixed up. We're going to bring your heels as, as comfortably close as you can to your hips for the inner thighs. Hands are on the toes and we're just gently pulling the toes in. Not aggressively, so just nice and light. Have a little bit of a wiggle left and right. Massage into your left glute, into your right glute. Breathe as you do this. Keep your spine nice and long. Again, there's a gentle pull on the fingertips. Let the knee really open up down to the floor here as you come to the left. Let the knee open down to the floor as you come to the right. And we're thinking about separating those knees away from each other. You can use those elbows just to encourage a little bit of separation in the inner thighs. And then we're going to just gently get a little bit of forward movement now with this. So just going to gently add a little bit more pressure in the pull and think about pulling your belly button so your belly button's nice and tall pull your belly button in towards your toes and then release get nice and tall so you can round through the spine a little bit round through the spine allow your head to come down get a nice good pull on the hands to really pull the groin in you should feel good stretch into the groin and then straighten up and release relaxing the shoulders breathing as we do this so you're going to get a little bit of a Deep pressure, so allowing the body, upper body to come down a little bit, so flexing the spine and then lifting up as you inhale. Nice extended spine, so nice and tall. So allow your spine to flex and get that deep stretch into the groin and then extend your spine as you're breathing in. And using the movement to massage your body, creating that suppleness, the flexibility, helping those touch tissues recover. And then this time as we're coming up, it's going to place your hands behind your hips. I'm going to bring the left leg out in front, nice and straight. Give the leg a little shake. Right foot stays into the inner left thigh. And then just have a tiny bend on the left knee. We don't want to be stretching the sciatic nerve too much. Pull the toes up towards the head. And with the left hand, so the left hip, left hand goes backwards, fingers pointing away from the hip. I'm going to reach down the right hand. Uh, reach the right hand down the left leg, let me get my words right, and then we're just going to start with a really gentle little massage again, so you might start to feel that. We want to feel it really in the back of the upper thigh, so the hamstring area, and you might feel some in the calf muscle as well, that's good, maybe even for the Achilles. If you're feeling it in the back of the knee, just bend your knee that little bit more, because we don't want to be stretching your sciatic nerve too much, that'll just aggravate it. Okay, and then maybe you could go to the toes. Again, don't, don't see that as a challenge, when it's not a challenge to challenge to your body. We're just creating a nice, slow, smooth, dynamic stretch with this. We're just stretching and releasing, stretching and releasing. This also, it resets the stretch shortening cycle. So when we're running, we have a constant shortening and stretching of the muscles, the responses in the body. And this resets that, and that's sometimes, as well, why it also feels good, because it's almost like it's a reset for the body. Okay, last time as we do this, into the stretch, and then slowly release, coming up nice and slowly, just feel that now, that leg feels nice, it feels good, nice and loose. Let's give the leg a little shake, we're going to switch sides. If you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button here, I'm sorry that I do all these little 
adverts in between, but it's a way for my little channel to help grow, my little community, liking, commenting, and subscribing. It all does help. It might not seem like it does, but it really does, so thank you. I'm gonna go right leg straight, pull the toes up, a slight bend in the knee, right hand behind the hip. We're gonna go left hand down again. Just start small with the movement. Feel that stretch and release it. So come down and come back up. Breathing as you do it. If you're feeling the pull in the back, don't continue to go too far. So make the movement smaller. Don't reach as deep. Okay, and then maybe you could go to the toes comfortably. And then just, again, just allowing the upper body to come tall and release. So a deep stretch. Coming nice and tall. And going down into that flex spine with a deep stretch. Breathing in and out through the nose. Smiling at how nice this feels for those legs. Getting that nice reset, the nice lightness that this is going to bring into the legs. Maybe they've felt really heavy, and battered and bruised. We don't want them to feel battered and bruised, but we're looking after them now. Okay, I'm going to do two more. And then last one, and then just slowly release him. Bring the legs out in front and give them a little shake, give them a little bounce, bounce the calf muscles, bounce the, the hamstrings, nice little stretch there. And then how did that feel? So share this with a friend, share this video with a friend, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, leave a like and a comment, all these ways that you can engage with this video and my little channel. And I do appreciate you practicing along with me. Thank you. And I shall see, speak to you in the next episode or the next video. <laughs> That's my podcast.